Family Frozen Foods is a small but growing company that operates a small fleet of trucks to deliver its products. A monthly meeting is being held to discuss company issues. Tom Darfield is the company's president and is directing the meeting. Three of the company's senior officers are also in attendance, seated around the conference room table. Martin Bloomfield is in charge of sales and deliveries. Dorothy Pellman is the chief administration officer whose job encompasses budgeting, finance, and personnel. Ben Ogmeyer is in charge of packaging and processing of the company's products. The next item on the agenda is adding a fifth truck to the fleet. When Marty made this proposal a few months ago, we dismissed it. But I think it is time to bring this issue up again in view of our increased sales and signs of a growth trend carrying into the future. I know that you are all getting tired of hearing this topic. But we all have to admit that our volume has grown to a level that exceeds the capacity of our fleet. The last time we talked about this, our four trucks were already straining to meet deliveries. We had decided though that it was premature to add another truck. We decided to wait a bit to see if growth trends continued. Well, business is booming. I agree. It is time to reconsider Marty's proposal. The issue is not just about the amount of business and whether a truck should be added. Marty wants to buy a 16-wheeler. Ben and I both feel that a standard delivery bin is both adequate and more practical. Hey Marty, are you still set on the semi? It would be short-sighted not to be, especially in light of the favorable outlook for sales. Look, in 12 months we will be glad that we bought the larger truck. Which outlook are you talking about? Last month's forecast. That forecast was flawed. Those sales estimates did not take into account seasonal variations. They sure as hell do. Dorothy said so herself just yesterday. Since when did we change our minds about this? He's right Ben. I recomputed the day to using the most recent market analysis. The trends clearly point to a regional upturn in consumer interest in our products. Even without increasing any advertising, our growth in sales should continue. Do you believe that Tom? Sure, the trade journals point to this upturn as well. Then why not buy the larger truck? Hiring a reliable, capable, qualified driver will be a lot easier with a standard delivery bin. You've got a point. Remember the trouble we had three years ago when we tried to keep drivers for the used semi we bought. Drivers hated it because it drove like a Sherman tank. The drivers quit because we did not pay them enough, not because of the truck. Now that we are in a much stronger financial situation, we can pay competitively. And for what it is worth, these new semi trailers are much easier to drive. No big truck is easy to drive, Marty. How would you know, Dottie? You have never driven one. You have neither training nor frame of reference. Let's shift our attention back to the technical aspects. The main issue is load capacity. How many times will a semi be running around a partial capacity? Dottie and I both thought about this. We feel that a standard delivery van will be adequate for most delivery days and in the few cases when it is not, we can run some overtime. And a van gets better fuel mileage and it is easier to maintain. It is just going to be more reliable. She is right about that. Face it Marty. But you are not taking into account economies of scale. A single semi can do the work of three or four vans. And consider the company's public image. Small vans connote small business. Imagine the splash we can make with a large tractor trailer with our company logo on it. It would enhance our reputation and help increase sales even more. Maybe so, but have you looked at the price of a semi-trailer? They're three or four times the price of a delivery van. Is that really the investment we want to make right now? That is certainly something to consider. <clears throat> this is apples and oranges. I am proposing the semi-trailer because I think it is the right solution at the right time. We are all in the same business, Marty. We all want the best solution. 
Dottie and Ben make a strong case for the delivery van, with its easier maneuverability and lower cost to purchase and maintain. We've really got to move on to other matters. I think we should go with the van. So the van is what the company opted to purchase. Six months later, sales had grown to the point where the company's fleet of trucks again could not keep up with delivery needs. Family Frozen Foods was forced to purchase yet another delivery vehicle. Martin Bloomfield may have been right. Perhaps the company should have invested in the semi-tractor six months prior. Mm -hmm.